Hello also in last video we had seen how can we validate the speed of our shared drives using crystal disk. Now from this video onwards we are going to actually start the installation of SQL Server 2019 and for that the very first step is to download the installer. So if I go back to my documentation over here in number 2 section 8 number 2 I have mentioned the URL. So if you go here you will find different options and if you scroll down we have to download SQL Server Developer Edition. So if I click on download now so it got downloaded what I will do I will move that installer to my software directory software and SQL Server 2019 okay now so if I go back here again so what I mentioned is once download run the installer and choose the download media option so I will go back okay now I will select download media option and here so if I go back I will select download as ISO image and I will specify this drive so okay, G software and SQL Server 2019 so what I will do I, will, I have already it's already selected ISO image and I will specify so it's in my software directory under software SQL Server 2019 perfect G software SQL Server 2019 and click download so it will take some time to download so meanwhile what we'll do we'll see what all different SQL Server 2019 uh, editions are available and how the licensing works so if so I have mentioned that link over here so if you click on that link it will open a PDF so that PDF got downloaded and if I see here so let's scroll down now look at this table I will maximize this a bit okay so we have these many SQL Server 2019 editions available enterprise per core standard standard server express and developer so developer edition we are currently downloading okay there is something else so if I go back here uh, so express and developer okay and uh, as you can see here so forget about this analysis services for now so look at uh, database engine services okay uh, so as you can see in this table the maximum DB size which is available for for developer edition OS what your maximum OS capability is express 10 gig okay uh, standard edition uh, server plus CL it's 512 pentabytes standard per core 512 524 pentabytes enterprise edition 524 pentabytes okay now look at the memory utilization so for uh, enterprise edition it's 12 terabytes memory okay standard edition 128 gig same 128 gig for express edition 1, one gig and for developer edition OS max okay uh, similarly look at the compute capacity it's for enterprise OS max standard edition lesser of 4 socket or 24 cores for standard server plus cal 24 cores limit max 24 core you can say express edition lesser of 1 core or 4 core, lesser of 1 socket or 4 core and for developer edition OS max now so this is the maximum DB size or memory now let's look at the licensing so if I scroll down further okay so SQL server licensing okay enterprise standard so there is something called web edition as well so it's not available over here but there is something called web, web edition and currently we are have downloaded developer edition which is free to download for non-production environments all right so let's scroll down uh, enterprise standard okay now look at this core licensing okay core based licensing so under the per core licensing model each server each server running on SQL Server 2019 software or any of its components like SSRS, SSIS, integration service or re reporting service must be assigned an appropriate number of SQL Server 2019 core licenses. The number of core licenses needed depends on whether customers are licensing the physical server or the individual virtual machine. So let's assume in your production and environment most likely there will be a physical server available. So this guy okay and this is for virtual machine and this is for container configuration. So le let's look at the physical server. Alright, so unlike the server plus cal licensing model, the per core model, okay, allows access to 
access for an unlimited number of users or devices unlimited number of users or devices to connect from either side either inside or outside of the organization's firewall with the core uh, per core model customers do not need to purchase individual client license access okay that is cl okay to access the sql server software so if i scroll down again so what they are mentioned is so this is a fiscal core fiscal server this is a fiscal server okay and inside that this black box is fiscal processor okay or maybe you can consider as a socket and uh, under each fiscal processor there is a fiscal core so there are six fiscal core here and what they are saying is this core based licensing okay so if i scroll further fiscal core, fiscal server fiscal server is a fiscal hardware system capable of running the server software uh, a hardware partition or blade is considered to be separate fiscal hardware system fiscal processor processor is generally a fiscal chip okay or socket you can say that resides in a fiscal socket okay for a hardware partition and containing one or more cores okay now fiscal core each fiscal processor contains small processing units called fiscal core so in this case there are six fiscal cores so most processors have two some four or six or eight and so on now the how the sql server licensing uh, 2019 uh, license for sql server 2019 using the per core licensing model when running a sql server in a fiscal osc all fiscal cores on a server must be licensed okay so that's why it says as per core licensing all fiscal cores on a server must be licensed the software partition does not reduce the number of uh, core license required except when licensing individual virtual machines a minimum of four cores license is needed okay for each fiscal processor on the server okay to determine and acquire the correct number of core licenses needed count the total number of fiscal cores in the server purchase the appropriate number of core licenses required for sql uh, sql server core licenses are sold in a pack of 2 so customers must divide the number of licenses required by 2 to determine the actual number of line items okay skus so each skew will have two licenses so for more details okay so so enough with this uh, information now so what we'll do let's look at my configuration on my local machine so if i go back so there are three ways you can validate the current configuration what i will do so if i go to my pc right click properties so over here you can see so i have just one uh, socket available or one what you can say here is one socket okay okay so how many fiscal cores i have so let me go back here so i have uh, over here i can see just one socket but if you need to know how many sockets i have click on this additional uh, advanced systems uh, settings go to hardware click on device manager and over here you will get to see processors where it is where it is where it is processors okay so as you can see i have four servers four cores all right i5 and also if i go back here let me close this let me close this guy also if i go back here i have 16 gig of memory okay maximum how, how much is allowed for standard edition is 128 gig okay i just have 16 gig there is another way so if if you right click go to task manager uh go to performance tab open resource monitors and click on cpu and here you will get to see so 0 1 2 3 so i have four cpus or four cores you can say okay four fiscal cores okay and uh, okay so that's all so let's go back to our installer so i hope it must have downloaded so downloaded successfully so if i close this guy or i can open open the folder so over here the iso image got downloaded now our next task is we have to copy this iso image to respective node so what we are going to do first is we are going to install our sql server 2019 on this node node 1 okay so what i will do let me first log in i will close this guy we don't need this one okay uh, let me go and log in to node 1 and i will log in as my id domain uh, domain user so m g o g t m a g o g t e m a g o g t e and p a password #123 perfect 
and what i will do let me go here and i will create a new directory under c maximize this i don't need this let's close this guy okay and i will create a new directory software and i will copy my so image copy so it's copying iso image once it gets copied uh, we just have to double click on that perfect all right so once you double click you will get to see this setup.exe if i double click it will basically start the installation you will get to see different options okay so uh, we'll see these steps in the next video uh, and we'll also see how can we use so two three videos back we had created uh, different service accounts so two different service accounts we had created uh, where it is where it is where it is computer name okay so we had created these uh, two service accounts so we are going to use these two service accounts now for the installation of sql server now okay so thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video